Hey folks, the New York Jets have an off-tackle run problem I want to highlight in this video. Now, you would rightly say we only look at one play, but there are a number of plays during the preseason where the Jets have exhibited this problem. And what it is, is this running play is going to go to the right. Now, I want you to note, this is against the Philadelphia Eagles tonight. First of all, where their defensive end is near most, outside the tight end number 87, the flankers flexed, okay? Flexed means close into the line of scrimmage, right? Now, I want you to watch what happens at the snap of the ball. We're going to do this step by step, okay? There, okay? Stop here. You see that? You see the end has already got a block down the tight end. You see that? Now watch what happens, okay? Boom. Lost. What's going on right here is the end is already overpowering the tight end. And look, this tackle has had to reach out on this linebacker, which is already going to the outside uh, gap to stop this off-tackle play from even bouncing to the outside. They are already in position, but look what happens. The end is now pushing the tight end back into the backfield and disrupting the play for the back, okay? The linebacker is there to clean up. This play was dead to rights before it even began. Oh, how, how can we see this? All we have to do is go back to the beginning when it started, okay? Just go back and see what happened here. Step by step by step by step by step. Let's go a little bit faster. 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 And let's stop right there. You see the Franco was flying by. He did not have the assignment of blocking down on the end, which and or double blocking with the tight end, which would have helped a great deal, but that didn't happen. Instead, the end, okay, the end was already outside the tight end. Tight end had to reach out and get him. By that time it was too late. The end had already woke mustered up a head of steam and was able to get in the backfield and disrupt the play and the rest of the Eagles defense comes in and downs the running back for a loss. Okay? The way to prevent this is simply to give the running back a run to daylight responsibility. Don't have the running back run that way if it's obvious the hole isn't going to be there from the start. Give the running back cutback assignments so that the running back understands that once the handoff is gotten, all right, here, okay, and stop, go the other way, here, go the other way, stand a better chance, run the daylight. That's why this play didn't work. It wasn't there.